officer. All right, no. Terrible. I'm about to play some murderous babies. I couldn't help but notice. Just wanted to put this in your head. So, you and the other officer just now. Awfully friendly with these guys who are volunteering here. These people volunteer their time to maximize the amount of children who die. I can understand dealing with them on like a professional thing and being like, hey, you know, everything okay? Did anybody aggress you? No? Cool. All right. Have a nice day. Let us know if you need anything or whatever. You all like laughing, joking, joshing around, maybe on a first date basis. Be like, hey, what you doing tomorrow night? Oh, that sounds like fun. I hope you and your family have a good time. These people are death sports. They max, they volunteer. They're not even, you're getting paid. You're on duty. They're not getting paid. They volunteer to help make sure that the children of Philadelphia do not live to see another day. Why are you laughing with them? Why are you joking around with them? Why are you acting like all friendly? I don't understand it. You put on an air of neutrality because that's like the police position and all that kind of stuff and you're on duty and you won't. Okay, so I, I kind of get the whole thing about like, we can't stop the, what's going on in there. But you gotta be all friendly with them. Look how friendly they are. The officers are with the escorts. Yeah, they're like best friends with the escorts. No, but they're totally neutral. They're totally neutral. There are no difference in Nazi Germany. There are no difference in Ivan the Great, who was literally decapitating people as they tried to leave the gas chamber. They were hanged. For Ivan the Terrible, I should say. But you know what? Before they were hanged, they were all laughing and joking about it was all really funny that these Jews were being exposed. And they were the. They were the. Uh, They're just dogs and pigs. Yeah. They, well, they were confronted by they Allied were soldiers. Humans. The, the women, Germans, were humans. All the rest of them were just. When Nazi soldiers were confronted by Allied soldiers, they were told. And that's what I, that's what I, that's what I told the guy there. He said, no, I said, listen, it's awful. They said, we're soldiers too, and we were just following orders. And you know what they said, the soldiers did. They took the badge, they removed it from them, and said, you are not a soldier, you are a prisoner. And they were still found guilty for their war crimes. Yep. They were still I don't think I've seen a more wicked thing than my eyes laying upon right now watching a senior officer walking around here protecting people committing murder against innocent human beings in the womb. Wicked. I mean, stand by and babysit a bunch of Christians who are actually doing the job right. that you should be doing. Because, you know, now's not the time to talk about whether he's a Christian or not. Because he denies Christ. You're a Christ denier. And Jesus said, you deny me, I'll deny you before my Father and his holy angels. And, you know, Jesus is coming back in a fiery flame with his holy angels to bring retribution and vengeance upon those who do not obey the gospel of God. So like I was saying, I kind of, some of my friends will be a little bit more upset, like with you not running in there with gun drawn. I kind of get it. But let me, let me, Why do you, let me yeah. interrupt you for a second. Yeah, please. And I'll tell you the same thing I told somebody else earlier today. I'm out here every day. I'm not here to defend the clinic. I'm out here because every day that there's protests out here. I'm here to protect your right to protest. If I see somebody every day, you get to know people. If you were out here every day, I would get to know you. But you know, why would you get to know somebody who volunteers to come murder listen, babies? You, listen, you can see it any way you want to see it, and I can see it any way I want. Well, what would be we, the every, way to see it? Everybody has their own opinion about different things. Just like well, at the other clinic, at the other clinic, a couple of my officers yeah. went up and spoke to a couple of people that were out there protesting. You didn't have a problem with that, but you have a problem with this. You have your opinion about things, and somebody's going to disagree with that. Okay. I don't discuss my personal feelings. I don't discuss my personal opinions about what goes on here or anywhere else when I'm in this uniform. So,
end of the world. Sir, do not touch my property. Sir. A little piece of concrete. Why yeah. babies are being ripped apart. Many still have and sucked hand. up by You were just talking about how you defend our rights here. You know what? Listen, move out of the way. What's your concern about the piece of concrete? Are you defending his rights now? Sir, listen, I'm giving you a warning now. Okay. Wow, what a big man now. Is it under a threat of I'm arrest? Sir. Is it under a threat sir. of arrest? Are you going to arrest him? I'm giving you a warning. Is this under a threat sir, of arrest? I don't want you to block the entrance to the clinic. I'm asking He's you to move out the way of the entrance to the clinic. Is this under with a your threat sign. of arrest? You can stand on the other side. What happens if I do not move, sir? sir? You can stand on the other side. Why wouldn't he answer the question? Okay, well, unless He's I'm, been asked five unless times. Answer that question, I'm not going anywhere. Can you please sure. just ask him to answer the question? It's a simple question. I'm gonna, if he doesn't move, I'm going to lock him up. So he is going to arrest you. I'm asking you it. to move from his front entrance with the sign. So he's going to arrest you if you don't move. Side, or you can go to the other side of the entrance. Yeah, because okay? a piece of concrete matters more than babies being ripped apart today. Yeah, We're all so big and defensive of a piece of concrete. Yeah. Hey, thanks for protecting our rights, buddy. Yeah. It's okay. I'm protecting you. He literally said two minutes ago he was here to protect our rights. Now whose rights are being protected? This is our sidewalk. This is our sidewalk. Nobody's blocking entrance access. Nobody's blocking the access. How obtuse are you, man? See, this is the illusion of neutrality. You were telling us about how you were neutral because you're on duty and all that kind of stuff, but look how he's coming up on us. Now he's all friendly with the death courts here who maximize the murder of babies. And then he's like, hey, you can't... Oh, there's a little bit of you know room over there. You're not you're not here to defend our rights. You're here to defend them, aren't you? Wouldn't you say that's true? Babies being ripped apart, sucked up by vacuums in the canisters is medical waste. Nobody's bullying him. If he's blocking an entrance, that's a problem. He is. He said he's going to lock him up. Yeah. He called three men over. That's bullying. You can't block the entrance. He's not blocking it. We have mail, but when we walked up here, him and the sign were blocking the entrance. He barely moved. He moved like six inches away. Have you considered putting some tape down? Put some tape down on the ground. He wasn't blocking it before. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm urging you to leave this place of death before it's too late. So how many inches do you have to move before he's blocking it, just so we can know? Because yeah, I'd sure hate for him to get locked up for no reason. Yeah, because that really matters. They're murdering babies here, but these guys are like, hey, don't move five inches to the left. At all. And you can never move it, because once the sign's there, it stays there forever. Right, police officers? Do you know that the Bible says police are supposed to punish the wicked? and protect the good, and you're punishing the good and protecting the wicked. Amen. So you know, you were telling me like literally two minutes before. I'm just 30, 30 seconds. Well, then I'll just talk to you then. Then I'll just talk to you. You're all friendly with them. You told me that you wanted to defend our rights. That's why you're here. And then, the very next thing that you jump to, was to go get my brother crap for just moving a slightly into the way that you found to be objectionable or whatever. That makes you a hypocrite, my friend. You put on a... Sorry? How so? How have I violated the things that I said by my actions? Of course I haven't, man. You're They're being sucked up in the in a medical waste and chemically poisoned. But you're worried about a piece of concrete? Right. Worried about six inches of concrete. You have no, you're heartless towards children. What, what's causing you to be so heartless? Well, because they're good friends with the Descorts is why. Yeah, because they're the same as the Descorts. They just wear a different uniform. They get paid yeah. a little more. They get maybe. paid. They do get paid for it. Yeah, good, 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 money. Good, good bribery money to cover that demonic stronghold inside. Why don't you guys just walk away? Yeah. Just walk away. You know we're not dangerous. Just walk right. away. Go do something helpful. Aren't there speeders to catch? Aren't there people, people like littering? People? Like throwing soda cans on the ground or something? Isn't there oppression going on? Oh, what's happening right back there? You're here to defend oppression. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Why don't you help the oppressed, the victims, instead of victimizing people? And like going up on some guy and bullying him for six inches of concrete. It's pitiful, man.
guys know that the Bible says to glorify, we are supposed to glorify Jesus Christ in all things? How so? Glorify Jesus Christ in all things, whether word or deed. Jesus said that all authority in heaven and on earth was given to him. So, since Jesus has all authority and since we're supposed to glorify him in everything we do, that includes on the job. You know? And since when we're on the job, we're supposed to glorify Jesus Christ in all that we do. So ask yourself, how is it that I glorify Jesus Christ by move, by bullying this kid for putting, you know, the sign six inches closer than it previously was? And like threatening to arrest him. Ask yourself how that makes sense. How is it glorifying Jesus Christ, man? I'm concerned for your soul. I know that you may be angry at me, I get it. But I just want to let you know, man, like, you're in danger of eternal judgment for this. If you misuse your badge to bully gospel preachers. God is going to hold you accountable for that personally, and you're not going to be able to hide behind the chief of police of Philly on the last day when you stand before God. It's not just a matter of opinion. There's right and wrong. Some people can, you know, question about the gray areas here and there. Like whether it's okay to tell a white lady or wife about whether that dress looks good. We're talking about baby murder here. And I'm sure that you would not hesitate if somebody were to, you know, shoot somebody in the face, you'd go, you know, you'd chase them down and arrest them and take them to prison, rightly so. But here, they murder babies and you're all friendly with them. And you're bullying the gospel preacher. Your allegiance is clearly visible. No matter how much you pretend to be neutral, no matter how much you pretend to be on duty and a representative of the city, it's obvious whose side you're on, man. He is mighty to save. Today is the day for salvation. The Bible says that this life is like a vapor. We are not guaranteed another second. You could you could drop dead. And you can only go to you can only go to heaven or hell. Jesus said I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can get to the Father but the Son. It's not through Buddha. It's not through Islam. It's not through yoga. It's not through the witchcraft. That's what they're doing. Do you see how she's blocking the entrance? She's blocking it. Hey, threaten to lock her up real quick. I didn't hear anything. Was it a silent threat? Maybe it was sign language or tele telepathic. He was like, let me think it real quick. I'm going to think about how I'm going to threaten to lock her up. There we go. Not worth getting arrested for. That's not the, the 
fulcrum of the battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are. I was in my hometown, and maybe at the same time, like. Hey, has anybody gonna pass down that sidewalk, y'all? It's blocked. Look how you're blocking the sidewalk. Laws for thee, not me. We got badges. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You guys let your day, your day be all ruined just because some people decided to preach the gospel of Planned Parenthood. You really think that we're dangerous? You really think that if you weren't here, somebody would walk in and blow it up or whatever? Get off it. You know better. You're here because you want to be. You said you were here to protect our rights. That was a lie. So we know why you're here. You were here to protect them, obviously. And one day you're going to have to answer to Jesus, just like all of us. Jesus, It'll be you and he. It's not going to be, you know, your friend saying, oh, yeah, don't, don't let them in front of the door. You know, we're not blocking the entrance anyway. It's not going to be your friend. It's going to be you and God. And what are you going to say to the Lord your God when you protect a child death? Jesus Christ said that if you, if you deny me, that I will deny you before my father. And by protecting child death, you they used to send bounty hunters, like professional law enforcement officers, into the north to try to bring black, bring back escaped slaves in chains. And it was all under color of law, federal marshals and whatnot. They were just doing their job. Just doing their job. They probably made friends with a lot of, uh, you know, pro-slavery people along the yeah. way, yeah. For what, man? They help murder babies. They help murder babies. Yeah, God's not mocked, my friend. for a purpose, got to go hunt down that escaped slave, got to bring him back. I mean, it's legal. Supreme Court said so. I'll make sure and laugh and, you know, joke with the slave owner. Yep. Probably drink his lemonade and eat his cheesecake when I get back. Yep. Man, thanks for capturing my slave. I'm going to whip him to death and be like, ha, that's none of my business, man, but that's hilarious anyway. Totally. Laugh at those slave owners. like hey I've worked with slave owners a lot you get to know each other you know right. you get to know each other when you do a lot of work together this is the fifth escaped slave from this guy's plantation I brought back because he's so friggin brutal but hey I got to know him his name's Jimmy Jimmy and I get along great I bring back his escaped slaves he feeds me a good dinner I go on my way I go you know but I always love Jimmy hates me real good too Because it's already in your heart to do it. Because your heart, you need a new heart, sir. No, it can't be. He's neutral. Yeah. That's why he. That's why I'm he uh, bullies gospel preachers and laughs and jokes with the desk oh, works. This is 